the remote mountains of northern Pakistan, where the vast ranges of the Hindu Kush, Karakoram and Himalaya meet. Isolated with harsh winters, where there were once trees, there are now only rocks. Deforestation is a major problem here. Most people burn wood for cooking and heating. Their poorly insulated homes need a lot of wood to keep them warm. So the houses fill with smoke, a major cause of respiratory and eye disease. Chambeli lives with her four children and husband in the village of Pakora. Before we used lots of wood. We used to go far to collect it, but we use much less now. Like many others in her village, Chambeli's home is now much warmer. She has a cleaner, more efficient stove with a chimney. There used to be a lot of smoke, and because of that, we had sore eyes, aching chests, and our clothes were covered with soot. We had to warm water in a pot, using even more firewood. But now, water is warmed in the barrel for dishes, laundry, bathing, for everything. There's insulating foam on the floor, making it warmer and more comfortable. The chimney removes all the smoke, so the traditional hole in the roof can be covered by a hatch window. It keeps in warmth, lets in light, and allows in fresh air when required. The products were developed by the Aga Khan Planning and Building Service Pakistan, part of the wider Aga Khan Development Network. In 1997, they started the Building and Construction Improvement Programme, or BASIP. In these isolated mountain communities, families have to grow all their own fuel wood. The challenge for BASIP was how to make people aware of their fuel-efficient products. So they recruited local role models, like Bibi Safina. They call them resource people. When I started with BASIP, I used to go door to door, telling people about the products. I would record the orders and pass them on to BASIP. Today, Bibi holds meetings in her home to promote the products. Most of the Basi products are women-centered. These are the products which have been helpful in saving the time of women, which they spend to fetch the water, uh, which they spend to collect the firewood. So these resource persons, they have been asset for the community, and we were able to make the local women to decide on their own for the adoption of BASIP products. At first, resource people like Bibi worked voluntarily. But as their workload increased, BASIP started to pay them a modest income. I get 10% commission from every sale. Gradually, I have gained more and more business experience. Now I have also started a business of my own. So my standard of living is really good now. When Bibi signs up a new customer, she liaises with BASIP so products can be sourced from local manufacturers. BASIP trains these entrepreneurs. They teach them how to make the products to a good standard, able to pass BASIP's quality control. They also supply tools and arrange startup loans. BASIP invited me for training, so I went to the town for a week. Then I came back here and started work. I began training others, around 25 people, and they are now working here too. I also earn more money from my machinery, which BASIP also helped me to install. So now I have both good machines and several employees. I used to earn 150 to 200 rupees a day. Now I earn a thousand. The stoves are also made locally. This metal worker used to make a couple of hundred stoves a year. Now he makes two and a half thousand. The whole notion is to ensure that there's enough trained entrepreneurs within the communities so that they are able to meet the ongoing demand and make it a market-based model that these entrepreneurs make a good business out of it. So it's a business model for continuity and for sustainability. 
Wall and ceiling insulation also helps to keep schools, other buildings and homes warm, even in the middle of winter. BASIP continues to innovate and expand its reach, holding roadshows to introduce new communities to its products. All's good now. The children are happy, we are happy, the house is clean and we have warm water. There's no smoke. Before we had a different life, now it is completely changed. <laughs>